how the victory in the tournament impact the city of Jaffna? Well, Pavan, you can probably answer that. Well, uh, you know, I I think um, it's it's been waited for so many years, and as someone from the Jaffna area myself, uh, I think it's a big achievement. And uh, I we, unfortunately because of the COVID situation, we couldn't go to Jaffna. But the initial goal, uh, if the the COVID situation was not there, was to take the team and the trophy with the whole management to Jaffna. That was the plan. Unfortunately, with all the restrictions put in place, it didn't happen. But I believe it ha- it's it's affected very positively the whole city. Uh, the fans have uh, reached uh, reached to us in a with a large support. I'm sure you you saw the the four players from Jaffna when they returned back to the city they were welcomed uh, in a traditional way and very highly for their achievement uh, not only i would say for the city of jaffna but in the whole world i think it's a recognition of of the brand and the name jaffna so today uh, if raul in america and seattle is knows about jaffna that means uh, there's a lot of other people now with the victory are talking about Jaffna. So I think it has impacted very positively for the people inside Jaffna, but also outside. Also seeing uh, seeing VS Khan play on the, was it the third game or the fourth game we put him out there? Fourth game. Uh, uh, fourth he, game, I think. Yeah, he did really well. He got his first wicket uh, against, you know, a, a pretty, pretty amazing batter. Um, and it was just an amazing moment to see um, Hasaranga and, and, and VS Khan throw the ball from one to the other. It was just such a such a beautiful image, um, and uh, and we want to see more of that. I think he's excited about his future. Um, he has he has a he has a job with us going forward. Um, he he he's been given a lot of different opportunities since winning, um, and uh, <clears throat> so he's he's very excited. I think his his life is definitely changing for sure. He's a celebrity around the world now. Let is only eighteen years old. Well, he turned 19 the day after. 19, you, yeah. you had the birthday celebrations. Well, yes. 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 There was a big, ba- and, uh, there's a big birthday celebration inside the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, yeah, the room, and for, for him and also uh, with the unforgettable first game against uh, Andre Russell and Matthew. So I don't think he could have expected anything <laughs> better than that for his first game in the professional yeah. league. Right, El, uh, the next question. Who has the next question? How have you been able to handle the team during this pandemic? Yeah, Pavan would be better to answer that because he was there um, and they went through so, a pretty incredible process. It, it's been quite challenging since the day we arrived actually in Sri Lanka. Uh, we were all supposed to be, first of all, in the same uh, premises, in the same hotel at Shangri-La. But once we arrived, the I. Uh, you, you, you probably know the ICC anti-corruption has the rules that the owners cannot be with the players. So we had to be in a, in a completely different hotels and we were really apart and there was no much way for us to coordinate except with the team manager uh, because we we're handling all the logistic aspect behind, uh, as you're probably aware, with the jerseys and everything, uh, with the change, with new uh, sponsor coming in, with the partnership with the court. So it's been, I would say, very very difficult in terms of managing because we could not be in touch with the players even after the games uh, we were not able to meet the players in the first few games but and we had to get the authorization from the army which was one the authorization from the medical uh, medical staff from our hotel the medical staff from the team uh, so even for the man of the match after the first few games only i think after the second or third game we were able to get on the field uh, but it's been, I would say, very, a uh, very challenging aspect, and uh, uh, quite difficult to, uh, to in terms of uh, coordination with the team. But somehow, uh, we we said that this was probably uh, the best to handle. Uh, to, I mean, it's just going to be easier going forward. That's basically it. Yeah. So you mean the, the the owners never got in touch with the players? Nope. No, I mean, we are they, not allowed. They, yeah, they, they weren't allowed to sort of interact with the players. Um, uh, there, there were moments when we had social events where we could. But, you know, you, you, when, when you're in a competition like that, there's rules. 
where, where, where the coaches interact with the players, the owners don't. So we were talking mainly with the manager in terms of in the team, but not with the coach. Even the, I mean, that's uh, there's a lot of rules that we have to respect, and in, in a way, it's good. It's very, it's a very good the, the rules because it's the same in the IPL. They have strict rules and strict guidelines. So uh, it, it, actually, it's even better that we we had to learn this process. All right, well, uh, the delay is ready with the next question. Thank you. Uh, this question is to Mr. Rahul Shud. Why particularly do you want to help Sri Lanka as a country? Oh man, that's such a good question. Um, you know, I, uh, boy, that's a really tough one for me to answer. Um, um, I, I, and I, I guess I can be honest and just say, what, watching what's ha happened, uh, you know, in, in to, to 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 the north and 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 just generally in Sri Lanka, you know, a, a, a 30 year civil war was was horrible. Um, number one, and number two is um, cricket is is really a, a, a beautiful sport. Um, cricket is not just a sport. It's it's not even an activity in Sri Lanka. It's almost a religion, where it's the one thing that we believe can can bring people together. Um, and create inspiration for people and give kids an opportunity that they've never had before. Um, and what's what's crazy about it is that <clears throat> Sri Lanka is the third largest, <clears throat> excuse me, the third largest fan base in the world are Sri Lankans for cricket. They're the most rabid, the most, uh, you know, most engaged fan base on earth. So number one is India. Number two is Pakistan. Number three is Sri Lanka. And Sri Lanka has a national team, but they've never had a league to develop players and give young boys an opportunity. Or even, you know, if 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 uh, if you want to talk about just kids in general, giving them an opportunity to be discovered. So, um, <clears throat> and some of the best players in the world are from Sri Lanka. So, when the league came out um, and they 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 were talking about you know this thing coming up a couple of years ago, and then last year. This year they almost canceled it because of COVID, uh, but when they when they when they announced it, the franchises sold out very quickly. And Pavan, who's one of my best friends, I've known him for a very long time. He uh, he called me with Mr. Arnold, um, and um, and they they spent maybe 10 minutes with me explaining me the opportunity, and I just jumped in with both feet. Um, so <clears throat> to answer why. I think it's because it's it's the it's the best opportunity now to um, to 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 use cricket as as a means to bring the country together uh, to create something that's that's super uh, fun and engaging and competitive and to make an impact on Sri Lanka that's so positive because it's such a beautiful country um, and it needs to be shared with with everybody. Thank you, Mr. Rahul, and uh, who is next, Rashmi? My question is, what are the benefits you think that Jaffna would gain after your franchise? Well, Pavan, what do you think? Oh, sorry, could you repeat? <laughs> what do you think the benefits that Jaffna will gain uh, because of the franchise? Uh, I, I think yeah, the city will gain a lot, especially to be a, a sports-oriented city. I think there's a lot that we need to move on uh, with the history of Jaffna. And Everybody knows, I think, from uh, uh, from the history that Jaffna uh, produced a lot of good players, but probably didn't have the opportunity to show that in the in the in the in the, in the national in the national level. And through this, I believe that uh, our goal, I mean, with Rahul and the all organization, is to promote sports not only with the cricket but with the whole organization, with an academy, and to put really Jaffna as a sports location. As yeah, a sports... like we're, we're 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 planning on setting up a, a cricket academy in Jaffna. Um, we have a, a a piece of land that's being donated to us, so we're going to build a cricket academy there. Um, you know, I, I know that there's a good uh, football field there already, um, but there's no there's no real good um, you know cricket uh, uh, cricket pitch. And even you know in the future, maybe building a cricket arena there would be amazing. So. <clears throat> so um, the benefits to Jaffna are, you know, we're going to bring people there. There's going to be more tourism, um, and uh, and you know, hopefully, this is the beginning of of, of building 
the north, you know, and, and making it awesome again. Um, Jaffna is known for the library. <laughs> I know that, but you know, I think I think uh, it could be known for a lot more other than just the library. So, yeah. Um, uh, just to want to add, I I think um, uh, it it will show Jaffna to the world stage, and yeah. you know, like probably know that Jaffna is a bit um, compared to Colombo or Candy or the South is a bit behind in terms of development because of uh, of, of the location and of the situ of the history of Jaffna, and I I think that with this Jaffna style with the, with the organization and obviously winning the first championship, it will give us huge advantage to show where we come from, and uh, as mentioned. Uh, eventually, we will have a stadium that will come in, and we hope to bring international games as well as tourism and everything back to the city. And that's going to be one thing that we are all committed to do it. Uh, next up, we have uh, Niluka. Um, this question could be answered by either Mr. Rahul or Mr. Pavan. How was the decision-making process like to invest in Sri Lanka? Rahul, you want to start? You're you're on mute. There wasn't much of a process. It was like uh, they they called and asked if I'd like to invest in Sri Lanka, and the decision was absolutely. Um, <laughs> it was uh, it was a it was uh, you know I said it's a no brainer decision. It really is. I think that Sri Lanka has a very bright future. I think that um, you know with with uh, the economy was actually starting to pick up before the pandemic. And you know things kind of got bad after the pandemic, but I think you know 2021, 2022, and 2023 are going to be really great years for the country. Um, you know I think it's a, it's a, it's a great place. Uh, it's a, it's a wonderful place to visit. It's beautiful. People want to come there and vacation. And you know the nice thing about <clears throat> cricket in Sri Lanka with the LPL, the players, the international players, all want to come and 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 be there. They want to play there. They have a choice. Do you want to go to Bangladesh or do you want to go to Sri Lanka and play? Where would you rather go? <laughs> like, I wouldn't want to go to Bangladesh and play. Are you kidding me? Uh, you know, there's no way. So, so to me, you know, it's it was just an easy decision. For, for me, it was not even to think about. It. it was just given. It was like, yes, when the opportunity came on within a second, I said yes. And I, uh, I when we had the initial discussion with Arnold, uh, we we were like. Uh, we we have to do this and uh, also with the ties that we have and uh, our physical presence in Sri Lanka and Jaffna Vaunia uh, for uh, for us it was a no brainer we wanted to do it but uh, the outcome to come to this uh, to this size i i didn't expect that that's to be honest with you well, uh, i think uh... We can have a couple of questions in Tamil as well, Mr. Ramesh. I think we have the Kilinochi Express with us as well. Yes, Ramesh. Um, Ramesh? I think, uh, yeah. Rahul so the Kilinochi, has, yeah, the uh, Kilinochi uh, Express, I think, became quite famous and all of us were expecting to see him perform. But unfortunately, I think uh, he couldn't perform in the first season. But I'm sure now in six months time, we are going to have season two. So, you know. Do, do you want to just to, uh, to, to answer why or or why you didn't uh, play? Because, <clears throat> because a lot of fans asked us. You know, they kept saying put him out there. Uh, but it's not up to the owners. It, it's uh, it's the, the coaches have to make the decision. You have to remember that there was four players that we picked to to come and train, and these players were learning from the best. Imagine playing cricket every day with you know the Pereira, you know with Hasaranga. Playing with these people like every day, playing with Shoei guys Malik. like John Charles, yeah, Shoaib Malik, like they were starstruck, and and they had the opportunity to play with these guys day in and day out and learn from the best coaches in the world, and um, <clears throat> it was it was it was uh, it was a decision that was made by the coaches based on are we ready to put them under the big lights or do we want to develop them more, and so um, you know ho hopefully we'll see what happens next year. You know, yeah. we're, we're, we got we to gotta make our picks and build the team and, you know, and we'll see. So I just wanted to add on the point. Um, be, just because we have uh, four uh, young players, it's a it's very uh, difficult decision to put them to play. Why? Because first, they are not used to play in that 
the pressure and the level of pressure with all this professional level. They, they've never been to in that area. Second, it could lead to big failure for the rest of their life. So if you rush it to put one of them to play and if it end up to be a bad match, it will be probably leading him to, uh, to, a, to a, a, like probably a downside for him. So we had to be really careful and the, the coach had to basically give additional additional training to all of all four. And Vyashkan was the, the, the most ready because he had a bit more international exposure in, in as a young. So that was, uh, that was why the reason he was. And regarding Kabil Raj, Klinic Express, he was, he's very good, he's very fast, but I, they said they still need a few more improvement and this will only be able to do it over, I would say, next year or so. So, he, he's, he's very good, definitely, his speed is amazing and everything, but he needs some time in order to play uh, under pressure with Shoaib Malik or Tissera Pereira or Asaranga because that's an additional pressure on the field. Yes, I think, uh, I th yes, what you said is completely right because sometimes you can completely ruin a person's career, you know, by picking him at the wrong time. So, yes. Uh, exactly. Mr. Ramesh. Yes, uh, thank you, Ramit. Uh, shall I ask in Tamil? <laughs> yes, it's no problem. As long as you can answer it from, you know, myself, Rahul and the others. Yeah, uh, first I'll uh, ask in Tamil, then I'll translate into English. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Please, please, Ramesh. Yeah. Yeah, um, uh, in addition, I'll render the Padinon delay in the render the Padanji Varekum, um, uh, Padamana cricket on the school level of Andor, Nala improvement from involvement to Mirinda. Peregan and the Sonal, um, Poga Poga, Nangal Kanda and the players on the Konja Kalam Pogum Poga, uh, Avangal and the cricket involved are the Kan, um, hope on the Kuranji Tepon. Karna Midikipinad in American Sona, parents, uh, Vanda Avangalak or hope on Dirikaila. Um, I want to cricket a the future career pretty poem to Soli. Even the LPL Alla Thirimbor hope parents to one there. But school level cricket improve under the future plans and a Sadirica. Oh, in the Marianda, Sulanka Lavandu, Ella Ama Pavandu, Pulia Lavandu, Mukia Mavandu, Padikatan, Padikatan, Soli, Push Pandrail. Anal Ariel, you end up in the office of Kuda, Elar Mandu, Thai Terpinal Vandu, Kuda. Padipanda, Padichi government job or Konaman than Talreviel. And Avail Mandu Palanga, the government job of Kona, and the Munir Alavakamandu, T or or private company of various remedy on the Lavu Munetamera. Are they married sports Lamandu? England Amapa on the Konjam strict therapy. I will either Papu on the sports salading around the Munir Alavand or either. And Avail Kandu. Vyashkan, Vladina, Terry, Menda Mariando, or Tamil and Mandu, or or Pine Advice, Tamil and Mandu, Sports Ale, Muneri Vanda, and Dekivandu, Avak ever Ella Piri, sponsor, Valinatli, and the sponsor Elam, Sinan and Arthavadangal, Vandu, Valinatla, Vyaratin, Santa Pamermand. Up Nangal Vandu in the Bar Vashamandu in the Sports Academy Jafna Turangina, Angal Kavandu. Kuda on the youngster Lamana Akala, Mandananga Vada, Vada, and the Melamilama, the professional legal Rakhatana, Mirpamapanangal on the and the petrol Katai, the Pananga, Vlangavik on Venetka and the team all over a Vada Munbe Pirikland. Adamanda Alconjanal, Silmela, Mulangara, the Anal in the Bura in the Jaffna Stadium, Naranda Alla, Angola Petrol Kunya Kuda Vlangamanaka. Nasaria. Oh, Kandipa. Uh, Ramit, uh, what, I, what I asked was, um, I asked, uh, I have seen. The future because I think a lot of parents are actually worried about uh, students getting, uh, you know, getting government jobs and things like that. So, yeah. parents are actually reluctant to, you know, may ask the children to go and play cricket. But I think uh, the LPL and especially the Jaffna Stallions have given a lot of a new hope to the parents and the students. Am I right, uh, Ramesh? Yes, Ramesh. Yeah. Yeah. And Rahul, what, the mindset in Sri Lanka is very narrow. Is, the mind is very different because the, the parents always push the kids to study, study well, study well yeah. and try to go to a government job. That's really the yeah. main focus. 
but they don't understand that government job, job is basically the least paying and also not the most effective for the growth in career so yeah. arnold and i we always push it to go more in private because it gives more opportunity and yeah. teach them about what is the difference because of how much you can make it better for yourself so in the same way in the sports it's important now probably with the vashkan uh, uh, episode that people see the uh the the spotlight that it puts and how important is to focus in sports and to be part of a of a small league in order to eventually grow to be the next vyashka yeah that makes sense how do you think the hour of code would help the underprivileged schools in jaffna i think um i think that's that's a great question and i think um uh, you know we we need to get the um the educators uh the 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 school teachers uh and the and the minister of education to 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 help us um make it possible for underprivileged students to be able to have access to computers uh so they can access it uh you know we we you know obviously they need bandwidth uh like internet and they need computers to be able to do it um it, as long as long as they as long as they have access to a lab or a library with computers um then then i think uh anybody who's interested in coding can go in and and start using it uh, immediately um and uh and you know part of our work with code.org is to is to make those connections uh and to get the schools plugged into to to this program uh have you started at the moment because now i think um if, yeah, i don't know so, you're aware of it or not Yes, uh, yes, so, Mr. Dawood. So we started preliminary discussions. Uh, we've had discussions with people, you know, in government to, to uh, you know, to get connected to the right folks. Um, and uh, y- the work is just beginning. So I, I would say January will be probably when we start to ramp it up. And uh, Mr. Mr. Pawel, I don't, uh, I hope he's there. Yes. Yeah, he's there. I'm here. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Pawel, uh, uh, I think uh, Jafla Hindu College in Jafla is I think one of the best schools in the country, especially uh, the smart classrooms. I think uh, that's the school with the most amount of smart classrooms in the country, if I'm right. Correct. So, uh, I mean, uh, but uh, although Yes, Mr. Pawel. No, no, go ahead with your question. Finish your question. Yes, uh Yeah, no, no. Uh, I mean, no. What I wanted to ask was now. Uh, I mean, I, I all looking at targeting specific. You know, I all going to start off with Kilinochi, or I all going to start off with Jaffla, or I all going to start off with Vaunia, or you, which, you, you, what you other schools you're targeting at at the very beginning? No, look, I, yeah, I, I think, I think, I, th- I think, I think we have to start with the with the minister, uh, you know, of education first, and then and then figure out where are the best schools to go into to start. Um, and 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 that'll just involve us having a conversation with uh with the you know the 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 people inside the schools who who are in control of these labs and we connect them with code.org to make it happen right and uh, i mean uh, are you are, i mean the what about the facilities the basic facilities are you all now say suppose now uh, i know for a fact that there are so many schools around kilnochi and you know around jaffna you know i mean not not actually around but uh, when you take the suburbs like May this may like on the Archivedi and you places like that, Mr. Powell might be aware. Where you know, I mean, we are talking about really distant, you know, villages. So what about yeah. the basic necessities? I mean, uh, who is going to provide this? Is is it going to be yeah. provided by the government or? No, listen on on that. We don't know yet. Uh, so so right. I, I would say for, for for now we're talking to the schools that are that are connected and that have these facilities. Um, yeah. The schools that don't have the facilities, it's 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 definitely a harder problem, um, and we hope to be able to, you know, to 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 get to that at some stage, but no promises at this point. The the thing that you <clears> need <throat> to understand, I think, and most important is that in order to uh, the the key step was to get the uh, code.org to basically come in Sri Lanka. That was really the biggest task, and that's I think Rahul was uh, did a. a great uh, great part job and partnership to bring uh, code org to to partner with us and now uh, after that they have agreed now we are basically taking this step with the ministry exactly as rahul mentioned and it's not a decision that will be made on our own about which location and which facilities we're going to start but yes the goal is to offer this to the most amount of uh, kids with tamils and singalese in partnership with the government um 
uh, without uh, having a one of the, over the other, but in an equal basis. And I think that's where uh, the government and the Ministry of Education will involve uh, with us on that part. Yes, that, that <clears throat> seems like a that's that that seems like a good opportunity for the students there, the students yeah. who are part of their center. So uh, yeah. yes, uh, I'll, uh, I think uh, on that note uh, we are going to wind off uh, the meeting. So I must uh, take this opportunity to thank uh, uh, Mr. Ramesh and uh, also our uh, uh, Chance Sports Borel. They are the ones who have been uh, with us for a long time. The sponsors. Uh, Chan Sports Borella. So thank you, Chan Sports, as well as uh, Mr. Rahul, who came with us uh, today online, the owner of Jaffna Stallions. Thank you so much. One thing is for investing in Sri Lanka, for investing in the, you know the team Jaffna Stallions, and of course coming up with this wonderful uh, idea of Code.org. So fingers crossed. I'll hope and pray that it works. And you know by the end of 2021, uh, you know we'll be able to. I mean. Hopefully, this plan, this you know, the whole idea will go into a number of schools, not just in you know Jaffna, but in the whole country. I'll uh, also thank you very much, uh, Pavel, uh, you know, for coming with us today. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank thanks for having thank us. You. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you in July for the for the next uh, round. Yeah, definitely. Yes, we yeah. Wish you good luck and uh, like what Ramesh said, I think it's it's massive. You know, it's something that you know you can't put into words. Just the fact that you all have invested, you know, in Jaffna is something. You know, the hope that you have given to those children out there is something. You know, that it's it's hard for me to put into words. I'll, and uh, uh, and, and, and so everybody go off mute for a second. At the count of three, we're gonna do Varamachan. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Want to see if it works on Zoom? Everybody off mute. One, two, three. Baramachan. Come on, guys. What the heck? Come on. We're going to get this song going here. I want this to be a number one hit. I want to like, you know, we want to create another hit. If, if, if this thing gets trending in Sri Lanka in December, we'll create a new song in January, February, and it's going to be even, even better than this one. Okay. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Baramachan. There you go. All right. See you guys.